sucks i uh, hate this and timed you out nope i hate this show sam timed me out on chat yeah emily was on chat talking shit and so talking shit literally someone went what the fuck is an emily and i all i wrote was who said what the fuck is an emily and yeah. now i'm talking shit yeah Oh, here we go. Here we go. I hate this show. I hate you. I hate You're whitest being kids. You're aggressive. You're nope. being aggressive. The only thing I love is chat. Chat, chat, chat. Those are my babies. You're trash. The show's trash. Y'all are lucky and blessed that I'm here. Shit. Hi, Jaws of Victory. Yeah, we're coming in hard. Um, Nate couldn't be here. He had to cancel last second. Uh, so Emily stepped up. Finally. Uh, oh, hi, Mythic. Oh, my God. See, I love chat. I just can't stand <laughs> this one. I know. Ugh. I can't believe I put up with it. Implicate. All right, welcome to Trailer Boys. Uh, so, this is a show where we watch movie trailers. Hi, Bitco. Uh, and we watch movie trailers, not just any movie trailer. We watch movie trailers on a theme. Mm. And you gotta, you gotta play the theme to uh, to get the points because we give you points when you when you do a good job with Niamh. the theme. And last last week's theme was snow movies, and we had a winner from last week. So why don't we? Well, this is a little bit of a different setup, so we gotta try it out. You guys gotta let me know how everything's sounding and looking. Actually, I have to set it up, you, so wait, you need to vamp. Can you guys hear the baby crying? Look at Sam, neglectful, call CPS. Uh, oh, guys, enough with the cross-dressing jokes, all right? I'm pretty masked, I know, but calm it down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not how you spell E in Micromegas. Uh, He's got a funky spelling. How do you know my child's name? No one's supposed to know his name. I told you this. I told you this. Even though you're like, this is how you're spelling it wrong. Hey, I didn't tell him how to spell it right. I'm not telling you, Micro Megas, so you take a credit card out in my child's name. Yep, Jaeger Bombs. That's how you spell it. E E dash A N N E. How's it going, you guys? Do you guys miss me? Thank you, Clown Baby. Thanks for being a Timmy in drag. I feel pretty good. Um, see, Sam, you gave them the baby social? No. Oh, no. Guys. Now you guys are going to take out credit under my baby's name. Please, oh, no. Tell her. Gwalter? How do they know my baby's name? Uh, how's it going, you guys? Yeah, some people actually did see his face last week. Do I really love Sam? It depends on which way you mean. Yes, my baby's name is spelled X. I don't even... How do you do the A-E? What's the pronunciation of that? Atherton? Is that what that's called? X Atherton? Is that what it is? Uh, no, I don't know. Sam said the baby was called Paddington too. Yes, Grimworld. Uh, the baby is called... Uh, what does he eat? Tangerine sandwiches? He's boobs. Mandarin sandwiches or something? I don't remember. I remember uh, last time I streamed with you, I got in trouble. Do you remember why I got in trouble? Uh-uh. 
I shouldn't even say. Well, no, do it. Try. Get in trouble again. <laughs> Lobaka, marmalade. Correct, correct, Nyamix, marmalade. Babies do eat boobs, jaws of victory. I hope you used to eat boobs, Sam Hamich. Some people. It's good. It's good for you. I just I said I hope. I didn't say I'm not talking any trash. On formula, calm down, Samula. 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 <laughs> like Blah. I'm a vampire, Samula. <laughs> Samula. Uh, I wish you were a fucking vampire. Then my life wouldn't be I wish so you were a vampire boring. Too. Yeah. What the cool. fuck is a baby? Butt Mutterson. It's just a small guy. That's it. Hear it? Small guy who's really dumb. He doesn't know how to talk. He's not dumb. He's just a little touched. <laughs> <laughs> a little, you know. Problematic. Uh, Whoa, calm down. Put up the bumper. All Is right. that what we call him? The problematic thing? <laughs> Werewolves beat vampires. Uh, I don't know. See, Blunt, I feel like generally I would be more on the side of a werewolf like aesthetics wise and stuff, but vampires, they've got the live forever thing. You know what I mean? Can werewolves live forever if you can only kill them by a silver bullet? Or, the, like, or are there old werewolves? I think there are old werewolves. Yeah, that are like, oh, I'm barely hanging on. I mean, if you want to go, like, I think probably the definitive, you know, um, kind of piece of fiction on this matter of our times is Twilight, and I think that the guy in the wheelchair was an old werewolf. The guy in the wheel? There's no guy in a wheelchair yes, in Twilight? Is. Yes, there is. No, there's not. He's, he's, uh... Oh, yeah! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember the uncle. Yeah, he's like Jacob's uncle. You know too much about Twilight. Just no. kidding. You know just enough about Twilight. Yes. Where are my Twi heads out there, guys? Um, yeah, so I, there was a good question. Um, oh, Blade, Dracula, or an Edward from Flanjaw? What would you be, Sammy? Edward. All right, I'm a blade. I'd be a Cullen all the way. You would. You'd be like, I want my skin to be glitters. Yeah, glittery skin. Hi, mm. Horace. I, I have glittery skin and, and get with teenagers. What's up, buddy? Uh, <laughs> What's this? And get with teenagers? That's what Edward did. Uh, problematic. <laughs> Fucking idiot. You're just, that's worse than what I said. <laughs> This makes me want to die. I love it. Bye. Oh, Ma Karam, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. leave. Edward was a hunk. Correct, Gulio. Those are facts. Yeah. Facts Edward are facts. Was a hunk. I'm a hunk. Oh, uh, but you know who I liked? I liked the big dumb brother. Yeah. That was, was. I was like, who is this baby John Cena vampire? You know what I mean? I loved him. Hey, I'll pick you up. All right. Uh, it's okay, buddy. Let's uh, uh, try this out. Let's. Uh, um, there we go. Okay. Is uh, that better? Is that better? Nate's looking good in orange this thing this week. Thanks, Rex. I lost weight. I got shorter. I uh, moved out of my mom's. It's been a big week for me. Yeah, it's been a big week for her. For him. Nate, I'm Nate. Yeah. Uh, I like feeling right. insane, but... Oh, I'm kooky. Get ready. Um, should I make this... Yeah. Wait, let me... Let me do Don't something. look that way. No one's allowed to see you. <laughs> no one's allowed to see you. Should I can, You're private. I can we do this. A secret. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How's it goes it? Don't look that way. Not allowed. You can only look over here. Uh, 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 look. No, he's, he's safe. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, What else is going on, guys? All right, let's, let's, watch, we, let's watch a trailer. Do we have to watch let's a trailer? Watch last week's trailer? Let's put up a poll. Should we watch trailers or just yes, chat? We don't have to put up a poll. We're going to watch a trailer. <sighs> Get, but do your votes in the chat, guys. Just hang or watch trailers. Let me know. All right. Oh, no. Rex saw Wally's face. 
Uh, gossip boys. Oh my gosh, when I'm on, can it just be gossip boys and we just talk gossip? Please. All right, so here's last week's trailer. Samster, Ooh. yes. For two million years in these subterranean caves, a creature of Wait, can you guys hear it? Evil. I feel like you guys can't hear it. Uh, let's see. Oh. You stay on that side. Stay on that side. Is he out? I can't tell. It was entombed in a wall of Or am ice. I putting him in? He's out. Waiting to be free. Waiting to Whoop. live again. Wanna watch the show? Travel with us. On a journey into a world where nightmare becomes reality. The trailer is quiet. Are you telling me that an ape that lived two million years ago got onto that crate, How's this? killed the baggage man and put him in there? Yes, I am. It's alive. Bad it must be. Do you really with mean? us, you feel if you dare, on the Sorry. Horror Express. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's fine. I'm not for everyone. Is there any echo or anything? Hide, but you can't escape. No one can stop the fury and the terror Thanks, of the Horror Express. <laughs> Last week's that was so that was last. Oh, week's that was last trailer. week's winner. Yeah, that was last that's week's a, winner. That's a good trailer. I love trains, so it got me there. Yeah, big train person. Uh, but you're into the band train. Yeah, back in the atmosphere. That song. Tell me. One without a permanent scar, did you really where well, you're looking for you? Yeah. Out there. Nah, 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 nah. I think I know every word to that song. That makes sense. Because <sighs> uh, you're a big train head. I am a big train head. All right. Um, Hi, buddy. Here we go with, uh, we'll do a, uh, I got a couple coming attractions here. We've got a karaoke stream request. Okay, guys, we hear you loud and clear. So we will change gears. Remember Marcus Markovich? We gotta make that! Well, he got fired. Marcus, get off the court. Oh! That wasn't nice. Nothing but bad news for the Iowa Stallions. What an idiot. Markovich, I will offer you community service. Coaching adults with intellectual disabilities. Your Honor, we talking re re Whoa. No boo-boo words. Okay, fellas, we're gonna do a simple ball handling exercise. My girlfriend loves those. <laughs> it's impossible okay. to coach these guys. You don't have to turn them into the Lakers. They just need to feel like a team. Uh, we're gonna need some help. You're getting a player off the injured list. Cosentino! Cosentino! Yes. Welcome to the team, Cosentino. What's with the boogie board? You do you, I do me, okay? Where do you got this guy? He just showed up one day. This is my hey. sister, Alex. You want to do a cup of karaoke with us? I don't like I'm karaoke. I'm getting knocked down. Can I, I get, get up, up again? again? You're never going to keep me down. You know the game better than anybody. We gotta defend over here! You got to learn to build relationships. I'm new to all this. Yeah, can tell. Hey, we got next. Don't make me say it. Make you say what? They're re- Oh! That's a good word. We got next! Okay! I should be coaching in the NBA. Well, you never know where things could lead. Ew. No doubt. You can get this team to the Special Olympics Finals. 
you might be ready to be back in the NBA. We've been following your incredible story, Coach. Mark is here. just one win away from qualifying for the regional tournament. I don't know up. if you're brave or crazy. Give me a hug, Coach! But I know this is your shot yourself. at being champions. <laughs> Girlfriend problems? That was fun. You were passable. I don't have a girlfriend. Makes sense. Oh, what, am I that bad looking? <laughs> you know McConaughey. Oh! A very... He, they're friends. I know, they're friends and they're very similar and they're compared to each other a lot. Yeah, so... And they start in that, uh, fucking, what's it, fucking... Surfer Dude? No, ate that HBO show together. Uh, they started in a movie called Surfer Dude, uh... Zild. Uh, no, I'm True not crime? Sam's wife. Thanks, so. though. True crime? Sam's. I did not put a... My wife. Uh, true detective. Thank you very much. Guys, is that based true, on true a detective. true story? Did anybody... True. Oh, my gosh. Don't write the R word. I'll time you out like Sam timed me out. <laughs> yeah, False quote, Investigators. But... That's what the movie's called. All right. Let's go. I don't care if it's a quote. Yeah, no, no. Look at look at Sam. It is so nice to meet you guys. What's going on? Tell me about life. How are you? How's work? So you want to marry my daughter? What? Yes. Yes, I do. So do you hang out in the hood all the time, or do you just come up here for our food and women? They're not in the hood. They're in Hollywood. That's That's, the Hollywood. That makes me laugh. Oh, What's the difference the between me and you? Kamir and I had a baby. Right it would be a like very nice baby. Netflix. 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 Yeah, I was just going to say. Really from awesome. the giant you know, you have like Mariah and Derek Jeter. The super and then of course fancy you have new Netflix, Netflix building. Goat. And right goat. by like, it's like the greatest of all time. Blocks from Tinder. Yeah, I know what it means, but who are you referring to? Our guy, the legend. Yeah, there are Roscoe's in the hood. That's no good. What's the difference between me and you? Shut up, right? Because we don't even do that much. Stuff. She, she's not a prude. She knows her way around it, and that's okay. that. And, I respect, and then what I'm saying is, I love your daughter, and I would make a good husband. Yeah. <laughs> this a, a, a bitch. Where's our waiter? Uh, I have started. Can, What's the difference between me and you? Then. You talk a good one, but you don't do what you're supposed to do. Do you two shop at Michael's? Uh, I have. Michael's party? I feel like we're getting set up for a slam. Yeah, are you going to slam us for shopping at Michael's? For, yeah. Yeah, where yeah. else are we supposed to get our craft goods? Correct, baby. That motherfucker better watch it. That's what the baby just said. I didn't say it. That's what the baby said. Um. So, uh, this is our show. This is Trailer Boys. Hello. Go back to here. Um. So, yeah. So... We watch trailers that you submit on a theme. This week's theme, action movie sequels. The- sequels to action movies. And afterwards, we rate them and you guys rate them. Oh, wait. Fuck. I forgot to set up the poll. Oh, the poll. Oh, my God. So take a second because I have to set up the poll. That's fine. I'm here to talk to chat anyway. I'm glad Sam has a bad setup tonight because it gives me time to spend time with you guys. What you really want trailers oh trailers did i get my points emily are you gonna breastfeed sam tonight i breastfeed him to sleep every night sith you know that we've talked about it on stream before um sam was talking about how delicious breast milk is uh i accidentally got some breast milk in my mouth the other day but only because i was holding the baby and playing with him above me and he vomited into my mouth and it's pretty sweet it was good it's I was like, that. Yeah, it was sweet. I think, I don't know how it was so sweet. I think maybe all my cookies. Uh oh, too hot. Belzo. It's not that kind of thing. Yeah, accidentally. I shake the baby above my mouth every night and hope that it vomits into my mouth. I'm just hungry for it. I just love puke. I actually can't stand puke. I forgot what this thing is. We were watching, speaking of Woody Harrelson. Well, oh, yeah, we watched, we're, we're, we watched uh, Triangle of Sadness last night. We watched Triangle of Sadness last night. Guys, it was pretty funny. Breast milk is supposed to be sweet. Thank God, Nia Mix. 
Thank God. Yes, Julio, we were baby birding, but my baby is the adult. So what I do is I have my baby vomit into my mouth. I drink that. Then my baby drinks my breast milk. And it's just, I've been doing that on a cycle. There's probably no nutrients any longer. Okay. Oh, wait. Here we go. Uh, that movie was good and funny. I liked it. Um... Uh, but I had to leave the room for a while because there's a lot of vomiting. So I took a oh, full yeah. long break from it. Couldn't do it. Yeah. So she missed the, the part where the the ship was getting all messed up. And uh, Thinking man's dance music. How many babies do you think you could beat in a fight? Infinity. Fucking infinity. They're babies. What are they going to do? You could have inbi- infinity babies come at me and I would defeat them all. Here's the thing is, is like, yeah, I mean, like, you can't really get a baby to, like, do anything. No, they can't do anything. I would dominate. They can't, like, like you can't be like, hey, go fight this person. They don't, they, you, there's nothing you can do to make a baby fight something. Yeah, but that's why I would kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> I would like I would fuck all those babies up. Yeah. I believe it. I wouldn't get tired, Bina. You don't know my stamina. You don't you you yeah, you've never seen me running. All right. I have that set up. All right. So, uh we are going to start the trailers. The theme this week. If you threw babies at me, I would catch them and protect them, theorist. I was joking about fighting them. Look at all these. You got a lot of monsters in chat lately. The theme this week uh uh action movie sequels sequels to action movies you can still submit if you want you should have done action movie prequels um how many action movie prequels are so here's the I list. don't think there's very many um didn't speed 2 take place before speed 1 though no <laughs> could you imagine alright well alright so we're, we're gonna get into it me. we're gonna get into it thanks for the sub great noir the W jeans thanks for the sub 27 months and 26 months proud of you guys hearts are tarts someone tried to prank us Naya Mix no don't leave oh wait you're not leaving Abby Sally bye Abby Sally right. love you uh here I'll, I like I'm gonna start with this one uh see ya Abby Sally uh, oh god what she doesn't care if you say bye to her. I'm just, I'm just saying it. She's saying bye to me. I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just saying just, it. I just, I'm teaseru knows. I'm teaseru knows. I'm gonna give Sam a hard time tonight because he timed me out before the show and I was fucking pissed. I'm, I'm hanging on to it. I'm not gonna let this go. Okay. I'm hungry. Did you order dinner? No, I did not. You guys, he's starving me. What should we have for dinner? Call CPS. He's starving me. Should we have pizza? You always want pizza. <laughs> About a year ago, you gave this city Robocop. Ready Ten points. Ten points. Nothing I'd rather do. I think he's worked out pretty well. Have a seat. This is this a must. This is a good one. It's on. It's on. Oh, I've seen it. Things have become a little rougher out there. What's on? The Yeah, I've done I love Manhunter. This unit needs millions yeah. of dollars in parts. Manhunter's you see so Robocops good. Off warranty. He's one of mine. And I want him back on his feet. Oh. I believe that Murphy's case was unusual, but not unique. We can find someone else. Someone to whom the prospect might even be desirable. And now, we need a law enforcement so unit capable of meeting yeah. the enemy on his own. And, like, I love it that it's like, she's that guy's 23. Psychotic. You know what I mean? Like, and he's and just, just like, so ugly. And it's like a sixth To get the job done. I got good news for you. You're going to have a chance for immortality. With yeah. great pleasure, I give I want you a chance to Robocop 2. That's why I want you Things will be a lot quieter with this boy around. That thing is a killer! That thing is a killer! I love the stop motion. Yeah, it's really good. Uh oh, here comes the I wish that would happen to me. That I would almost get killed doing a stand up show. Robo Robo stand up. (laughs) And all your jokes are delivered like this. 
That's half of all comedians. <laughs> that's every fucking... That's half of all male stand-ups are like, I do the monotone thing. People love it. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's go back to this one. And we'll put up the poll. And uh, for the poll, all you have to do is uh, one... You see Daddy typing? Uh, one in chat or two. Isn't Daddy smart? Um, one day you'll see, type like pull. this. Do, 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 do. All right, wait. Uh -oh. that That's like just over me, huh? Uh-oh, you got some slobs. Let's clean you there up. There we go. Yeah, one or two in chat. There it is. One or two what? You just put ones, ones for yes or two for no. What's this new? Ones is that what it looks yes like? That's what the poll looks like now? Two for no. Yeah, that's what the poll looks like. Wait, it's just yes or no? It's not point, no point? No, no, no. We give it points. And they just say yes or no? Yeah, they always say yes Do they or get no. a point? What? You guys don't get, they don't get points? They get, no, they get points. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, that was the but baby. But there's a point system based on the percentage of people that say yes. Piss on it or shit on it. Right. I'm with you, Mythic. So, so what What do you think, Emily? Ten, ten points. Remember the beginning of the trailer where they punch us through the wall? No, ten, it, ten points automatic. So two points? Ten. Two. I don't like the way you run this show. All right. Well, your ten point, I'm going to consider a two point vote. Guys, let's put up another poll. Should Emily get unlimited points? Infinity baby fight, infinity points. All right. Uh, and then I'm gonna also give it two points. That was that was a really good trailer. Uh, so that's uh, that is four points from us and from chat. <laughs> Hell yeah, Chronic sixty nine. I give it sixty nine points. I give it sixty nine points. No, you cannot give it sixty nine. Yeah, points. I'd be going down on it like this. <laughs> it's a good trailer. I would make love to it. S Sith thinks I should be All allowed. Right. Sam shouldn't have invited me on this show. Apologies to everybody and All everybody's right, so parents. So that is three points from the from the chat. Wait, 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 wait. How do they give it three points? Oh, because it was 70. Somebody's, do you want me to explain the... the... Nah, All forget right. it. No, 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 no. I don't so, want to. No, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. All right. Three points from the <laughs> Uh, and that's, that's a seven point trailer right off the bat. That's really Woo! good. And that's going to Rocky Horror Pepsi Blow. Uh, I like that name. Rocky Horror Pepsi Blow, who tried to prank us by putting Speed 2 Cruise Control in there. At the last second? Because I brought it up? No. Um. Uh, putting Speed 2 Cruise Control in, but having the video be Finch versus Stifler, all the pranks from American Pie. Yeah, guys, we look at what the web addies are, okay? Yeah, we, we we look before we leap, okay? Yeah, guys, don't be freaking fools out there, okay? We know how to read, okay? Not to brag. All right. Um, this one looks interesting. Hi, Steve. Wait, wait, which of these three do you think we should watch? Don't say it, but just say one, say two, the or three. So say the name of it? No, just say one, two, or three. Um, the second one makes me nervous, but I kind of want to know what it is. But it makes the name makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one that like jumped out to me. Okay, should we watch that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one uh, maybe. Guys, just because this is my pick doesn't mean I made the movie. Okay, yeah. so everybody stay calm. This may be problematic. Are we storming something? I ah. Sure. Yeah, we're gonna storm something later. Tough sometimes, being a woman. Oh, can you figure out what we're gonna eat? Oh, I like this already. Yeah. Two. <laughs> yep. Ten points. She's ten a points. sheriff without a gun. A daughter yes. without a father. Should I do, Dad? And a woman <laughs> without fear. She's like fear. fifty and sad. Her dad died. <laughs> Try me and Sam! You can carry a gun. <laughs> no, I can't. China uses her fists. This is good. Conan O'Brien looks sexy. Yeah, this is the sexiest Conan O'Brien ever Whatever she can. He looks shorter in this, She's though. Maybe, her every, maybe all the other actors place. are on Apple boxes. For the good maybe. people to live. Yeah, everybody looks and so tall. Did you see that cool car? I want that car she's driving. 
I'm it was a drop top G, soft top G. We're gonna have to be careful. We're gonna have to be careful. You don't understand. As good as dead. As good as dead. I love Australian movies. Like, Suddenly, too much. Suddenly, the odds have gone up. Eat the baby the on the stream. Have gone no way. And the town she loves it's is under Look, attack. There was a baby. There was a baby. That's me. With her city under siege, that's me. she'll need more than a little help from her friends. This time, she'll need to have the whole town cooking. Wait, she's got those kids fight? She's one yeah, lady love man who gets a kick fight. out of her work. You guys know that's why I bred with Sam? Because he's so tall. And I was Cynthia like, Rock my son will fight for me. China O'Brien, too. Yeah. This old stud. <laughs> and I didn't have sex with him. Okay. I just inseminated myself. Don't get me wrong, we've had sex, See, that's but that's a, not how we produce this baby. That's the sequel to the classic action movie, China O'Brien. Ten points. Uh, Fuck it, eleven. Eleven points from me. My kid is going to beat the shit out of people, Sherm. My kid's going to be so rude. Okay. China O'Brien 2. Hi, buddy. Hi. My friend. My bud, my friend. <laughs> Couldn't you just make ten more and make it ten? Wait, what does that mean? I think it's a reference to Spinal Tap. Oh, wait. Oh, I've never seen that. You've never seen Spinal Tap? I don't watch comedy. Just kidding. I think I saw it when I was like five. And I got all the jokes. Because <laughs> I was a bad five-year-old. Ooh, dang, look at all these ones. ba 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 steve come on. I thought we were chill. And Chronix being fucking rude as fuck to me. Thinking Man deceiving me. Speed Punk being my enemy. Domino's Fleet being my enemy. You can't, you can't put your finger on the scales like this. Yes, I can. See, but they're just putting twos in chat no. so that I talk to them because yeah. we're flirting. Hi, Lydia Petunia. Stop flirting. Hi, Beale Baby. They love it. They're creaming for it. I feel weird making that joke with our kid in the room. Yeah. You had to cover yourself. <laughs> ah, you don't know what I'm saying, though. You don't know anything. You see Daddy's posters? Oh, my goodness. Where's Uncle? Where's Uncle? He's right there. You see Uncle Trevor? Yeah. I know. <laughs> you love him? Oh, buddy, Aww. that's so cute. You're being so cute. See that picture of Uncle? We're going to get a picture of Uncle for your room. He understands everything. He understands everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how long have we done? Two minutes? All right, great. Uh, so that's that's two points from chat. I'm also going to give it two points. Wait, so wait, wait. We can give it two points? Yeah, yeah. You're ten points. I'm... Making two, yeah. It. I'm gonna it's do two. ten points. Uh, Imperator, thank you so much for the sub gift to our good friend Rockwell with Rockwell. You guys are sweethearts. I love it when you guys give gift subs. It's real angel moves. It's cute. I love that. Okay, so that was that's going to Grimward. That's six points going to Grimward for China O'Brien too. Good job, Grimward. That was a hit. That was a hit. That was a hit. Are you still looking at him? Um. Look at me. Okay. You won't look at me. You look Here's at one. him. Yeah, that's uncle. Here's one. You see him? You ready for another one? That's uncle. Yeah, you see we those kind of We can kind of fly when there's when I'm doing it. New York City. Robert Ginty cleaned up the streets an exterminator <laughs> wanted. Just and the city has been quiet. <laughs> Whoa, okay, wait, two points, Until I stand now. corrected. Roller skating with a uh, torch is my new look. That is Emily Ginty. This 
what you think, no matter what you say, nothing you can do. Maybe. Wait, the guy with the fun hair? Yeah. Love him. <gasps> Love him. You crazy? You crazy? I ain't crazy, but I'm mad. You hear me? I am mad. Two. Say, Daddy, hold those, please. Get it? Get it? Exterminator 2? Daddy, hold those, please. Hold, I'm me. holding Whoa! it. Uh, I love that. That was great. Ten points. Alright. The uh, roller skating with the torch. Hello. Come on. Does right. it get any better? Doubtful. Yeah, a lot of flips. Good point, Bina. That was great. Ten points. Can you put up poll yes, no, ten points? <laughs> Please? Please! Just this once. And then if it gets ten points, that means 100% four points. Oh, I like that, I like that King of the Hill reference right there. Bel Belzo 33. I've never seen King of the Hill. It's good. Eh, people say so. You, you, I've put it on with you in the room. Yeah, I only like that because you knew I'd like that dancing dog episode. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> Stop trying to steal the vote, Emily. Steve will, I'll do what I do. Um, when I'm on this show, I'm King Uncle Daddy, and you guys are just going to have to get used to it. Put up them twos if you want me to say your name. Rustin, Stevel, Speedpunk, Niamix. So wait, are you guys, you guys, you and Nate don't say whether or not you liked the trailer? So you guys just sit here and stare no, at the we, camera. We don't, we talk about it, we go, oh, I like that. We don't go, oh, you better vote our way. Or we'll I don't be say that. I say there should be a 10 point option where if they vote 10 points, it's 100%. But... Whatever you guys want. Does Sam call me daddy? Chaka! Hi, Taylor. That I miss you. How are you doing? Um, no, Sam calls me uh Other people call her daddy. My whole basketball team calls me daddy. It's true actually. You guys are looking at a team captain who's called daddy. Shortest person in the league. I'm no longer in the, on the team, guys. But they're still playing. I can't play. Look, I'd have this screaming baby all the freaking time. Yeah, just people be like, get the baby off the court. And I'd be like, absolutely not. He must feed while I go for this three. And it cuts all slow-mo, and I make it, obviously, because I'm in my spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at basketball, except I can make three-pointers really well. That's my That's my claim to fame. Can't do a layup to save my life. I'll always get shut down by big tallies. But three points, pfft, it's going in. Uh, two points from chat? 20, oh, no. That woman in orange is loud. What other woman is there? How many points do you give Exterminator to? There's no other woman. I am so loud. Guys, sorry. I'm going to pull it away. See, Emily is giving us too much voice. Is not nice enough. I'm just always screaming. Can you make it go, make it not be? Can you turn the volume down on me? Just me, though. Yeah, just move you away from the mic. Uh, so, how many points do you give it? <laughs> Ten points. I am on ADHD mode right now. I think I forgot to take a med this morning. All right, you give it 10 points. So yeah, ten Exterminator points. 2 gets 6 points, and that goes to Dark Bastard. Mars can't hear me. He do, says do, do, turn do, do, me Dark up. Bastard. Thank you. 
Uh, okay. Ooh, here's a kind of change of pace. Mythic, I do need an edible. I think it's just because I haven't streamed in like a year. This is, this is, uh, um... But I'll come back to streaming. Mostly so people can be mean to me in chat. It's the thing I get off on. That's the thing, is you're mean to me in chat, I find it sexually gratifying. So say whatever you want. I'm one of those. You know those guys that like getting their balls stomped on by high heels? No. What are those called? <laughs> you said no too fast. <laughs> that means it you. It you. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I have a Twitch account. Boring on purpose. That's me. And I'm coming back, guys. I'm going to start doing shows after Sam and Nate on Sundays. Because um, then yes. Sam can watch the baby and I can stream. It's mostly me screaming. So if you don't like that, don't come around. Is that why I chose Sam for a husband? Because he liked having his balls smashed? No, he gets that from other women outside the house. <laughs> We're pretty free and open. Uh, I'm coming back, guys, feels like a threat. It is Domino's Fleet, but Domino's Fleet also feels like a threat. Sounds like you're going to bring too many pizzas to my house. <gasps> bo, 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 bo. It's okay, my buddy. Live scream. Exactly, Grim World. I can't not be loud. I haven't streamed in so long. I'm too excited. And also, I keep seeing a bunch of friends on here. Even IRL friends. So, I'm kind of freaking out. People I haven't seen in a while. Except... Professor Marth came to my stand-up show, so I saw him there, and it was great. It was so nice to have him to come. Well, it's such a big reward offered under you gentlemen that I felt I might just tag along on your next robbery. Might just turn you into the law. Naturally. I'll be in the tavern. The air around here stinks anyway, just like the food. But the month will go fast. I'm letting you live here. That's so you can tell everybody you've seen what takes place here. I didn't hear what the bet was. Your life. It's good fun. It's like fistful of dollars, and then it's like, a few more dollars. <laughs> you know? So, don't care about the movie, but for the hot villain and the font and the funny name, 10 out of 10. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to give that a one. A few dollars yeah, more. Yeah, Bina, we got quiet because everybody complained about me screaming. So now I'm just going to barely talk and not be funny. So good luck falling asleep in your gamer chairs. You've been Van Cleefed. Yeah, that's that's my favorite line from the movie. A uh, little, little factoid about that one. There um, we go. Little factoid. This is going to be a 45-minute story. No. Uh, this is just, just a, a little, like, whitest kids factoid about oh. that. Uh, is that, well, when... Trevor. I'm gonna start doing this. When Trevor first had his kid, Augie, 
uh, him and Amy just watched a bunch of westerns, yeah. and that was his favorite one. That's the one he liked the best, was for a few dollars more. Glad you brought that on the show. <laughs> I'm kidding. Good joke. <gasps> Good joke. Hi. Hi. Good joke. It just made me sad. Why did it make you sad? I don't know, because it just makes me sad. Trevor liked that movie. I know. It was a good thing. Trevor found joy from it. I know. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a really good movie. Check Hi, it out. Baby. Um, all right. Uh, and let's see. Emily, where... do you? Oh, do you bring Emily to sketch classes for the purpose of counterpoint? Miss Slipman's <laughs> absolutely fucking lutely. Here's the thing is I keep asking Sam. Sam will be like, oh no, I gotta be late to class or whatever. And I'm like, let me fill in. And he's like, absolutely not every time. But here's the thing is I taught longer than Sam did. So what? I find it very unfair that he's so judgmental. Also taught improv. Though. Also, yeah, but I've also taught sketch. No wait, I haven't. I taught stand up. But also, who's taken whose classes? I so I took your class. Mm -hmm. And then I took one of Sam's classes and then didn't want to do the assignments, so I stopped going. Yeah. <laughs> um bad student, great teacher. Uh Sam does have hots for teacher. Doctor. Yeah. When Sam was in But my I'm class taking this other class. It's it's a <laughs> <gasps> Wait, who's the hot teacher you got hots for? It's this it's this class. It's a sexy class. Then why was I wearing all those belly shirts? <laughs> I don't know. And belly chains. I told you you should I probably wear wore, full shirts. No, I always wore belly <laughs> chains while teaching. If I don't have a belly chain on, I can't focus. Uh, Dan Ballard, thanks for the shout out. Uh, um, all right, so the poll is closed. That one got... Uh, three points from chat gets two points from me, one point from Emily. One. Uh, it's a solid one out of ten. Okay, so that one. Any? I haven't seen any uh, subs for my uh, lip injections, but glad we're all still here. We haven't checked the sub, so I mean, you might have. Oh, uh, can they put? They put comments on it. Yeah. Guys, make sure to get those subs in for my lips. Or, or, or the donations. I, uh, yeah, guys, don't owe me. Don't, don't owe me. Don't owe her. Don't owe my don't, lips. Don't owe don't and that was from Silent Alley. Good job, uh, Silent six Alley. Six points to Silent Alley. Uh, do you want to pick one? Yeah, let's watch China Brian 2 again. <laughs> hey, buddy. China O'Brien. Here, can you lift the camera up? Just a bit. Hold on, bud. Okay. Um. There you go. Um, a number. Ooh, what's number fifty-nine? That looks good. Fifty-nine. Do you okay, see that? Okay. Okay. That flanger one. You're not supposed to say whose it is. Okay, then go to a different one, and I'll we'll go back to one, and we won't say the name so people don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know things. <laughs> um, how about 69? Okay. No? Yeah. Does that look stupid? Yeah. Yeah, it looks stupid. Like in said? a good way. Like. Um, oh, okay. <gasps> Yay! I hope that subs for me, guys. Mars first lips later. Man, you guys have your priorities back word. Vietnam, 1984. Chuck Norris frees the Americans, missing in action. Now, the secret of his rage can be revealed. Missing in action 2, the beginning. A war he couldn't forget. The story behind his return. Vietnam, 
1972, captured in a savage jungle war. You men are not prisoners of war. You are common criminals. Imprisoned and tortured. He's not dead! God, help! Chuck Norris is a prisoner they couldn't break. And a soldier they couldn't hold. But our country has forgotten about us, and we have to do anything we can to survive. There's one chance for escape. That's our way out. He's breaking out. And fighting back. An American hero. His story continues. This is for me. Chuck Norris, <laughs> missing in action to oh, the beginning. That's... Oh, That was a really cool freeze frame. It was we a had really to wind describe wake to our son. Well, we, <laughs> we woke him up because yeah. we both went, "Oh, hi! <laughs> don't cry." All right. Uh, so I just want to say uh, I'm confused. Um, it's okay. I know, bud. You mad that Dad's talking? Yeah, me too. I'm mad that Daddy's talking too. I'm confused because so. It seems like the movie is about. Uh, it's a. It seems like it's about a guy who who's a, a prisoner of war. And it, it's basically like, like the deer hunter, but like an action movie. You know what I like? M- but like M I A P O W movies. It is something I like. But how is there two of them? I, yeah. That's what I don't get. But has anyone seen it? How many times has he been caught? That's the real question. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, keeps getting captured. Chuck. Yeah, this is kind of like that like taken two kind of thing. Dilemma. Yeah, like, I get taken once. You better not let me out of your sight. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care what set of skills you have. Yeah. Or you came and got me, but, you know, that was a close one. Yeah. Yeah, why is he getting caught so many times? Well, I mean, it, should we judge? He is a vet. You know what I, I mean? I have. Uh, first one is him going back to rescue people. Second oh. one is the prequel <gasps> when he was a POW. So then I guess oh. we can't vote on it because it's a prequel, not a sequel. Dang, guys. No, no points. that's not true. That's Dang, not true. No that's points. not true. I'm kidding. That, you know, now that I know it's a prequel, it actually makes I'm happier. That, yeah. Because he experienced it, so now he knows how to get him out. The, the, this is also the, the plot of uh, First Blood Part 2, Rambo. Yeah. And the Modern Family pilot. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that it got picked up. They changed. They really they changed reworked so a much. lot. Shh. I know. There's also Braddock Missing, missing in Action 3, in which James Braddock returns to Vietnam... 12 years after the war ended to re- rescue his thought dead Vietnamese wife and son and a group of orphans held prison camp by a sadistic Vietnamese general. Okay. Wow. That seems cool. All right. So, uh, chat. Okay. He's getting mad for me talking. Chat gave it one point. I'd, I'm not going to point on that. I mean, no, I, nah, I wouldn't watch it. I'm going to give it two points because of that. Um, hey, 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 hey. Freeze frame hey, was really okay. cool. My bud, my bud. There you go. Just relax. Just relax. Go to sleep. I know. Missing in Action okay. 2. The beginning was filmed back to back with the original Missing in Action and was originally intended to be the first film of the two, but according to Joseph Zito, director of what was to become Missing in Action, it was decided that the sequel was much better, a much better film and would be more successful first film. 
Consequently, Canon just switched the titles and release dates that the planned sequel was released first. And the planned first film was released as a prequel. I assume, Lobach, I'm assuming that's his prequel at the end. Um, yeah, so that is Paul. That was one from chat, two from me. That's three points. It's Speedpunk 1996 gets that one. Uh, three points to Speedpunk 1996. Uh, all, right, all right, I'm gonna pick one. Okay. Mythic, I know, I'm not even holding a baby. Beach in hard ticket to Hawaii. Undercover federal agents Ooh. Donna Hamilton and Taryn Kendall really this save the country from drug smugglers. In Picasso Trigger, they save the world from the brutal hand of an international assassin. In Savage Beach, they are the targets for murder. This time, they'd better save themselves. Good idea. land into the center of a search for a ton of gold. Where there's gold, there's greed and murder rules the land. A paradise haunted by a mysterious presence. Take cover. This is no ordinary day in the sun. Terror reigns on the shores of Savage Beach. It was pretty good. What was... I'm going to play it back for a second uh I feel like this guy was like in Die Hard or something like that uh and murder rules the land this guy right here isn't that guy in the henchman in Die Hard Big Trouble Little Charms lots of stuff oh cool um, cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Savage Beach. Not to be confused with the 80s TV show China Beach. Starring Dana Delaney. Um... Did you ever see China Beach? The TV show? Yeah, the TV show. Yeah. I saw it. Savage Beach. Which which did you like better? Savage Beach, China Beach, or Savage Garden? Yeah, is that in the poll? Now we're cooking. Oh, boring. Just yes or no? <laughs> Man, remember when I used to be on this show every week? No. And I didn't let you guys... Have, yes, you do in the beginning no, of it. I don't remember that. I was on this show every week, guys. I was the OG trailer boy. Well... It used to be just my show, solo show, and then I invited both of them, and then they kicked me off of it. Because mm. they went, we're doing it by dick weight, the one who has the least weight to their dick, and then I got kicked off. I don't know about that. My dick's pretty light. 
you're like, mine's so skinny. You like to brag about it. You my like to, dick's on a diet. Yeah, my dick's on a diet. Guys, I gain, I, every time I gain weight, it always goes straight to my dick. <laughs> Now I'm on a dick diet. Yeah. And then like, and I'm like, no, Sam, that's a different thing. Because the problem is. <laughs> Don't be on a dick diet. No. Honestly, though, that would be a good way to lose weight. I swear, like the only way. It's the, I read, I read this. The site, only way I the lose only way weight. My, my dick can, can lose weight is if I go on this dick diet where I just suck dick all the time. Honestly, though, because if you have a weak gag reflex, you're going to be throwing up. Next thing you know, you're a bulimic. Problematic. <laughs> yeah, get get us, Grim World. Uh, okay. Let's see. So that was uh, two minutes. All right. Uh, so that uh, 55.6%. Yes. That is two points. All right. Uh, Emily, are you, what are you going to give that? What was it? That trailer I've seen before? Yeah. Who cares? Don't say who cares to me. Zero points for Sam's attitude. <laughs> Zero points for Sam's attitude. There right. we go. Two points for my attitude. Don't you add two points? Oh, two points from you. Yeah. I thought you meant two points for me, and I was like, if you dare to go against what I said for points, I swear to God. All right, that's four points, and that is going to... Flanja. That's going to Flanja. Good job, Flanja. Sorry I didn't give it points. Yep, um, Emily. It's okay if we've seen a skit. Uh, we've done a lot of trailers. It's not against the rules. Uh, I'm going to have to hold this baby this whole show. Do you want me to hold the baby? No, you don't know how. Okay, I'm one more for me guys. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Oh, I'm starving. Where's my food, bro? I've been getting paid a What what has she been getting paid? <laughs> He was the movie's number one special effects man. Now, he's retired. My kid says you can create any illusion you want to. But a special request. You want to bait a trap and make him think that the girl is alone, except it won't be the girl, it'll be me. Has got him rocking with the punches. Rolling into danger. You'll be in and out of place before you even break a sweat. I need a miracle working on the effects man. With guys someone else in the room. who don't like him okay. hanging around. Hey, Rally. Are you going to hang around here all night? Great bloody timing, Leo. Rally and Leo together again. Let's get one thing straight. McCarthy and I were never pals. For what could be the last time. Why don't you just leave this to NYPD? Because somebody else in the department could be involved in this thing. So what do we do now? First, we have another drink. They have a very strange effect on each other. Five years I waited, I finally got you. <laughs> and a very special effect. Simply like everything safe. On everyone else. Gotcha. You're going the wrong way! No, I don't like this. Brian Brown, Brian Dennehy, nobody does them better. FX2, The Deadly Art of Illusion. He's messy. But he's fun at parties. He's messy, but he's, that's a good line. Yeah, uh, that's the things like, I don't want to like this, but I really do. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the clown for me, guys. It's you, too stressful. You don't want to like it because of the clown? I don't like clowns. Fuck clowns, man. I can't do it. No offense, clowns, if you're a clown out there. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Um, hold on. Let me get the poll up. Oh. I don't have my top on. <laughs> he panicked, he panicked, he panicked, he panicked. 
I just sat here and just kept my boobs out afterward. Um, just letting them breathe. I do do that. You do do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's on me. She's on me, my friend. Is that Melambit? What is that? Melamit? What is that? What's that name? Me and my reading troubles. What'd you vote, Sammy? I'm gonna vote I'm gonna give that two points. I thought that was sick. I'll give it one. The clown mask they intentionally put in to fuck with me personally. Uh and I kinda take offense to that. So that's a winner from me. One out of ten. Malambit, is that correct? Or Malambit? Or what is, like, I hope it's correct. I am sure it's your birth name, even though you just said it's a fictional name. 100%. Mm, 100%. I got 100%. Ooh, wow. What are you doing? Ordering more pizzas? No, I, I just, I didn't order There's a the Euro? A Euro pizza? Did you get me that one? He's not responding. That means I, I, no. <sighs> Guys. Yeah, I guess all names are fictional, Obaka. That is that's true. That's true, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah that's a great part. point. See, like when I was trying to name our son and I was coming up with really fun stuff and Sam was like, no, let's give him a, uh, let's name him after Walter Matthau. And I was like, what? But we did. Yep. He's almost asleep, you guys. Dear God, I need a fucking break. Who's got kids out there? Let's uh fuck with the poll. Throw up them ones if you got kids. Twos <laughs> no, if you do don't. Not. Ones if you got kids. Twos if you don't. We should see Bonk is an amazing name, Dr. Wink and Peen. What if I was like, people are like, what'd you name your kid? And it's like, well, on the advice of Dr. Wink and Peen... <laughs> We named him Bonk. <laughs> yeah, Resident Steve, we named him Mathow. That is a really funny first name. If we have another boy, can I name him Mathow instead of Matthew? <laughs> Please. You fucking never Walter let me have... Walter Mathow? Oh, no, no. no. Yeah. God damn it. Did the order not go through? No. It didn't? No. I don't understand what no means. I said, did the order not go through? And you said no. That means it did go through. No, it means no, it didn't go through. No, no, no. That's not what it means. It means no. It, God damn it, guys. I'm not getting my fucking skateboard pizza. And now I'm going to have to pout the rest of this freaking stream. It's supposed to be open for another hour. Well, I don't, well, I don't work there anymore. <laughs> what do you want me to say to you? Hold on. No pizza tonight. Uh, I don't think so, Miss Lippman's in the tub. We're getting pizza regardless. I'm kidding. Sam's going to probably be like, actually, there's no other pizza places open either. You're fucked. Well, there's other pizza places. But I wanted skateboard pizza because were, you were going to get me a Euro pizza, right? Yeah. Do you have something in your beard? No, your beard's just unkempt. Here, let me see. This is the part of the show where I call a pizza shop. All right, so chat gave it three this points. This is the part of a show where I call a pizza shop. This is so depressing. How do people sub to this? Why are Why are you come to my shitting? On the <laughs> I'm still. I'm gonna get them to sub for me in my honor for my lips. Um, guys, what's going on? Resident Stevel, you could have kept your job there if you'd learned how to skateboard while being pregnant. Number one, I did skateboard while being pregnant. That's why my son is so fucking sick. Number two, um, Timmy was eating the best looking dominoes on Sassy Dad Game Boys. The best looking dominoes? Belzo, what is Sassy Dad Game Boys? I'm interested. Timmy playing video games. Uh, did I ask you? No, you didn't. Um, yeah, I figured it was Timmy playing video games. I'm just trying to have a convo. Um, is Nate going to have to edit this all out? I hope he does. Honestly, I hope there's just blank space when it's me talking. And then it's just Sam talking. That's my fucking dream. <laughs> and I hope that's how to live from now on. Is that no one can ever hear me. Um, Domino's is never good. But guys, punished. I gotta tell you something. Honestly, I am a pizza head purely for the stuffed crust because I think it's so funny. 
Should we get Pizza Hut? Yes. Because I think it's so funny, it's all I ever want. Because it's the dumbest fucking thing ever. And it was like a government thing, apparently. Not a gut, well, like a cheese. Actually, no, yeah, it was a government. Like the government intervened. Had like too much cheese. No, they wanted to, yeah, they wanted to up cheese sales for the economy. So they were like, where are we going to put it? And they were like, stuff her with it. (laughs) (laughs) The the The, government's disgusting. They said stuff her with Mm -hmm. it. They were holding two handfuls of cheese, and they went, where are we going to put it? Where are we going to put it? And the president looked over and went, stuff her with it. And then they just started jamming it into every part of the pizza. Oh, my God, motherfuckers. Also, recently, this there's this new pizza that came out that has cheese in the bottom of the crust, too. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. It's going to be so gross. Did Pizza Hut do that? It See if been- they got cheese in the bottom of it. And if they did that, we're getting that. Which president was this? Oh, the female one. Blame her. Um, fun fact, that's what actually killed Epstein. What, Pizza Hut? Yeah, Pizza Hut. The, the Pizza Hut people. Oh, the Pizza Hut people? Yeah. It wasn't suicide. It was the hut. He tried to out-pizza the hut. Um... I'm from Chicagoland, and stuffed crust is basically the Midwest on a plate. It's true. If cows went extinct and we all ate ten times more cheese, we would have a surplus of cheese for ten years. Malambit, we're in Chicagoland. Give your personal address, and I'll be the judge. Um, I mean, stuffed crust, is it? I mean, it's not really deep dish. Which deep dish, I can have probably once a year, and other than that, it's too much. There was this great pizza place... Where was it? Oh, it was so good. It was like a thin pizza. It was like New York style. And they used to do like really good stuff, like full pieces of garlic on the on the Zaza and all that. That's good. Yeah, so. Um, engineers have been working on bottom cheese for decades. Panini, you'd know. Look at your name. If anybody knows about stuffing cheese inside of breads, it would be you. When I had pizza in Chicago for the first time, I stopped eating entirely because I'd gotten tired, not full. (laughs) Wait, you stopped eating entirely from then on, Lobaka? It is, it's, it's a very filling kind of pizza. When you got Lumonati's. Hi, Deja. Lumonati's? Resident Steve. I had Lou Malmati's. Damn you, President Anna Nicole Smith. Have you ever been to Chicago with me? No. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I have. Have you? Yeah, when you were in the hospital. Oh, well, that was a great trip. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, remember when we got Lou Malnati's in the hospital? Um. Yeah, guys, I was so ill, and Sam came to say goodbye to me. Yeah, and then she didn't die, and I was like, and then he was like, rip off. Yeah, he was like, he came to my deathbed and proposed, and I went, a reason to live, and he went, a reason to die. Oh, this plan isn't working. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, two boots? That's fun. Janialist. Janialist, wait, do you live in L.A.? There's two boots in New York, too. Oh, show-offs. Um, in Massachusetts, literally every town has at least three mom and pop pizza places, so I rarely eat chain pizza. Punished me too. Oh my gosh, back home at my mom's, there's a place, there's places called David's, Michael's, and something else, and it's just three different brothers who all make pizza, and they all run their own shops, and the pizzas are all like very slightly different, but they're all amazing. I'm a David's girl, but don't tell my mom. Um... I feel like in Massachusetts, all the pizzas like uh, Greek style, very ha- Greek influence. Happy birthday, JVD! Say happy birthday, JVD! Happy Happy birthday, JVD! See, Kate, we said it. You didn't ask, but we're still gonna do it. Happy S- birthday! Send us a pizza, 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 pizza. Send us a an Italian pasty. Um, who said, somebody say I'm from Chicago? I can't scroll up, guys. 
Where in Chicago? I doubt it. See you there. I almost was going to be in Chicago this week, but I couldn't go because of the baby. Because I have a charity show this week, guys, that I still work on for the charity I work for. I am not going to promote the donation because Sam will get mad because he'll be like, no, he'll be like, Mars is a charity. Um... What kind of pizza you want? Um, what do they have there? Ooh, I want that. Big dinner box. And it can't be stuffed crust if it's a big dinner box. Then I don't want it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Cheesers, cheesers. Can we get mushrooms? And can we get two pizzas, please? Can we get, like, something sassy, like Hawaiian or something? And then something like mushroom and sausage? Okay. Um, Bridgeport. Got it. Is it the 24-hour show? Yes, Deja, it is. It's the 24-hour show. Every year, you guys, I do a 24-hour show, and I do it for the full 24 hours to raise money for families on the south side of Chicago and in Oakland, California. Um, and then on Christmas Day... In Chicago, and then hi, me in Oakland, and Sam and I will drive up to Oakland this year and do it. Uh, we give out uh, gifts to families uh, that need things, and then we give them, each family, $10,000 cash. And this year we're doing 20 families in Chicago and three families in Oakland. Um, you can donate at unconditionalgiving.org. It's called the Letters to Santa program. It's in its 25th anniversary. I've been doing it for like, I don't know, 18 years or something like that. And I usually perform in it, but can't this year because of RSV, the virus that could kill my child and not taking the risk. I'm not taking the risk. I don't care. But I'll still deliver gifts on Christmas Day. I just can't take a flight. Ooh, Hawaiian without added jalapenos is my go-to. Deja has a good idea. Oops, Sam made a bad face. That means you guys aren't friends anymore. Um, I guess we're done for the trailers, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Principal Roll said, I can't believe this pizza hasn't been ordered yet. I know. I just got a little dizzy. I haven't eaten yet today. I haven't eaten yet either. That's oh, right. shush off. Yeah, you did. You ate a bowl of cereal. No, I didn't. I was just guessing to try to call him out, but I guess I was wrong. Ooh, brick oven curry chicken pizza. That sounds really good, don't Ballard. Dan. Dant. It's Dant. It's pronounced <laughs> Dant. There's a D there's a T. Who's Dan who's Dan T. Ballard? He took my class. Oh hi, Dan T. Ballard. I know you from class from when Sam would let me teach it, but he wouldn't, so. Um I like pepperoni because my family's kosher and I get it all to myself. <laughs> Nailed him, Lydia. Mm. Uh, um, no, we're not getting pizza from the skating place, guys. Lobaka, they're closed. They're closed. It's fucking bullshit. Sam has been on a dick diet. Correct, doctor. Because yeah. it's the diet you recommended. If I, see di if I see dicks, I gotta eat them. Yeah, and he goes, it's called... He goes, How, do, you, do you like sea dick? And everyone's like, what? And he's like, sea dick. And he opens his mouth and sticks out his tongue and there's a penis in his mouth. I haven't either, and you keep talking about pizza. Well, I'm not stopping you from eating. You should order a pizza. Get it. Um, yeah, but you, like a slack, slacker, didn't feed anyone today, Sam. Yeah, Lobaka, good point. Well, I ran eight miles. Hi, Dan. Dan, I probably said hi to you in class, but... Sam won't let me sub-teach for him, but I think it's fucking crazy. All right. Let's continue on with the trailers. Wait, oh wait. Oh, mac and cheese pizza. I give this to. Do you give it to? Well, I, honey, that was t that. I give it two years ago that I saw it. <laughs> the fuck trailer was it? FX. Oh no no no! Remember, I gave it one because of it the one. clown. The clown. Oh, the no, clown. the clown okay. fucking killed me, bro. All right, that was to hey you guys corduroy condom fx2 Ouch. and that gets six points um 
Someone's name is actually directly threatening me. Their name is Corduroy Condom. Can you block them? Kidding. What? Why name? Why Corduroy Condom? That would hurt. Um. Is that a joke from the show? No. Oh. I wonder what it is. wonder what it is. They said not enough overalls, and that caught my attention because, yeah, Sam, where's your overalls? I just... Uh, that, I think they're dirty right now. Oh, well, this person is going to stop watching the show because there's not enough overalls on it. Oh, I like that. Our facial recognition crew uploaded video of this man fighting off some of the pirates. His name's Lang. Wolf Warrior. Welcome to Africa. Everybody, follow me. What the fuck? Ooh, that's cool. Kill like Lang, you'll be the king of this country. How many movies do you think Frank Grillo makes a year? What's our doing? Saving your ass! He's the guy. Oh my, oh my god, did you see that kick out the window? Was... Tanks? Yes. Caring? Yes. Who's Wu Jump? Okay. Is he... Now it's personal. That guy. No, no, I know, but is he in like lots of things? I'm, I haven't seen him. Watch the first one. No, no, reverse. Wolf Warrior! Two points, okay. Ten out of ten. Alright. Uh... I honestly, Janalist, I almost couldn't take it with the clown mask. That fucked me up for serious. Like, I am pr I practically need a shower. But still ten out of ten. It's pretty good. Okay, you ready? Eight pulls live. Uh, here we go. Um, there's some really cool stuff in that. Um, I uh, I am disappointed. I picked a trailer for a movie called Wolf Warrior Two. There's no wolves and, and only was, one warrior. Yeah, there wasn't. There wasn't any wolves in it. I was a little disappointed that there were any wolf people. If they had any kind of wolf in this, wolf people, wolves, or even a, just a dog. Whoa. This made $872 million on a $30 million budget? I need to make that, that movie. Is that true? What? That's insane. Wolves funded and directed. This one, the sec the second one made eight hundred seventy two millions. Or the, the Asia, really? Wolf Blitzer is also a disappointment. Uh, Clan Warriors Two, my nightmare. Thanks a lot. It was a huge hit in China. Oh, the second one is this like the T two? Someone up top said something about like that. It was made by the Chinese government. Ooh. I mean, is, isn't that, yeah, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, okay, so that got two points. I'm going to finish the poll here. There's 52% yes, that's a two-point trailer. Uh, how about uh, you, you give, so you give it two? Well, now Panini Mini says that it has a very patriotic plot, and I don't like anything being patriotic. Okay. For the name, I was going to give it two but, points. But the, I, no, the I got trailer. No, nope, zero points. Zero, zero points. I can't do it. I can't do it. The trailer, though. Nope. State owned. Nope. Can't do it. Mm -mm. I can't support something any government makes. It's just not my style. But it's the trailer. So I, I'd be going. No, I can't go against myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so I'm going to give that one point. So that's three points to Wolf Warrior 2. Sorry you missed out on the ten points that Emily was going to give it. but yeah. Sorry, it was a tenner for me until I got the facts. And the facts came through, and I believed them, and I went with it. And I said sorry about it. Who did I do that to? Uh, you did that to uh, Fudgy Stuff. Oh, Fudgy Stuff, I'm so sorry. Oh, Fudgy Stuff. Mmm, Stuff Fudge. Mmm. Mm. We uh, have cookies, and it's still the weekend. Yeah, we only have desserts on the weekend. We only have desserts on weekends, guys, and it's still the weekend. So Which, I'm gonna have I'm oh, gonna have a cookie sandwich. I gotta I gotta watch this one. This is one I'm gonna this, have two chocolate chip cookies with ham in the middle. A kiss for Samuel? They want us to smooch. Okay. And then we just French and POS and then we're No, don't kiss me. We'll never kiss. Punished, I'm kidding. A cookie sandwich doesn't have ham. Cookie sandwich is just uh cookie dough ice cream between two cookie chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Sorry, it's delicious. Oh my god, did you tell everybody ever about your um fat crackers? <laughs> Where you just put vanilla ice cream between two. Oh yeah, that's a really good trick. Between two Ritz crackers, fat crackers. If you yeah, if if you Buy if you want a, a nice little like s- sweet treat, uh, make and you have some vanilla ice cream or and Mr. some Ritz crackers sitting around. Wait, is it Mrs. Lipman's or Mr. Slipman's? Uh. Mrs. Lipman's or Mr. Slipman's? I think it's Mrs. Lipman's in the tub. No, it has to be Mr. Slipman's in the tub, because they're slipping. Does it have to be? Slip spelt with two P's? Slip is spelt with two P's. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from me. I have dyslexia. I know these things. Uh, oh, ice cream between two ego waffles. Punished. Hiking. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, wow. Fat Cracker was my father's name. We know that, Belzo. All right. The Slippin' Lippmans. Mrs. Lippmans in the tub. No, what is it, guys? Come on. Oh, Timmy cracked the case. It's Mrs. Okay, got it. Say goodnight. Goodnight, Mrs. Lippmans in the tub. And then I just press end. Something's happened. Shepherds, we shall be. I love that. For thee, my lord, for thee. Power hath descended forth from thy hand, that our feet may swiftly carry out thy command. In omni patria fili, spirit of sound. Whoa! The boom comes from back. What do you think? I think Yaga had to kill a good man just to send us a message. Let's send one right back. Let's do some gratuitous violence. Here's your boys. Daddy's working. But now I'm regretting. Oh, it's so. Is it guns? To me. Imagine like a lame uh, jumps that is like a drop the person. Like you know that that drop the person. I got one of the sailors' legs. Spiritual God inside that. What? That sounds wind. made up to me. That is not a real song. Uh, I forget what it's. I forget what the lyrics are. I got. I got a sailor, or something, and shipping up to Boston. Whoa! <laughs> you woke your son up. Hi, <laughs> Daddy. Daddy sang an ugly song. But woke it, you up. it's like that. Oh, don't cry. It's okay, my friend. Hi. Shh. Okay. Um. Boondock Saints a dose. Boondock Saints. Zero out of ten. Two. 
I do want to watch Boondock Saints with you now. Live Boondock Saints too. Mythic, the first one is not great. All right, you guys are not a big Boondock Saints two crowd. <laughs> but I, I loved the. Those Keanu movies. Oh, John Wick. Yeah, you just saw John Wick's for the first but time. But you said it's like a bad John Wick, so I might like it. Well, it's like a bad John Wick. I like bad movies, though. Oh, uh, okay. Nah, I probably wouldn't like it. You're it's, right. It's like... John Wick, but like made for a college dorm room. You mean all my friends? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't like it. It's cool if you're 13 and a boy. Honestly, now I'm convinced I like it again. Keanu wants to do a John Wick meets Medea crossover. Okay. Don't lie to me about these things. Uh, the other thing about the, the movies... All right, so we're going to finish the poll. It got one point from chat. 75% no, it just barely got one point from chat. That got slammed on. Uh, oh, triple X is good. Yeah, tri triple X is good, yeah. I'll agree with that. <coughs> Wally, stop. Uh, Lydia Petunia says, rewatch Boondock Saints recently. Bad. So bad. Yeah, Boondock Saints was made in a time when everyone was trying to make Quentin Tarantino movies. Ugh, my least favorite. Like, they were... There, it was that like, oh, let's do like an indie movie with lots of guns and like people holding two guns like this, and uh, nobody holds two guns like that. Um, Trust me. The funny thing is, is that the guy that made it, the guy that wrote the script to it, there's a documentary called Overnight, where it's like he wrote the script to it, and uh, Harvey Weinstein bought the script, and then. Th him and Harvey Weinstein opened up a bar together. Stop. And, but then he, like, became... Cook. <laughs> Called Powder Drink. He became this, like, oh, huge, like, kind powdery. of, like, egomaniac of, like, oh, like, this is, this is my vision and stuff like that. And, like, in the, the, the movie, like, basically, basically like, self-destructs and, like, uh, like basically gets on Harvey Weinstein's shit list over the uh, the course of the movie. So it's it's really weird because it's like, this is the one guy that's not on Harvey Weinstein's shit list for valid reasons. Uh, oh, like he is actually a dick? Yeah, this, this is the one guy who's like... <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> that he's a dick? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't want to watch that movie now. The yeah, the director is the biggest douchebag. The the director is like is a bigger douchebag than Harvey Weinstein. The personified version of one of those well, snap down newsboy caps. Stop! I can't with those. Sorry, <laughs> you guys. I'm sorry if somebody wears one, but I can't take it. Stop it with those. If you here's where you can wear it. Uh, on the moors of Ireland. That's when I'm like, is he a hunk? But other than that, don't wear those hats. They make your heads look small. Yeah, don't wear it cause if you're if you're on if you're you're either in Ireland or it's a Kangle hat and you're Samuel Jackson. Well, he can wear whatever the fuck he wants on his head. I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> Naya mix. My husband used to all the time. Naya, why? How many does he have? And can you put a photo up in the uh, Discord of all his collection of those? If he still has any. 
or if you're in the Newsies. No, doctor. They, Newsies shouldn't even wear those anymore. Yeah, Newsies look lame when they wear those now. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever see a group of kids and they're all in the musical Newsies and I'm passing them, I go, fucking nerds. Uh, and I flip their little hats off. That crutchy sympathy. Wait, do you, Jane Nihilus, do you have a... Uh, I rock a newsy cap, Jane Nihilus said. But do you do you have a, a crutch? He's It's a tiny Tim joke. Everybody get with the times. Yeah, yeah. Not you. I'm talking to everybody else. Um, He has only one and he never wears it anymore. Come on, Naya. Post a photo of it. Naya, like, trick him into wearing it. You know what's even worse? Like, you know you never wear it. <laughs> yeah! And then take a pic and send it to me. You know what's worse than that? Those little clips. Crutchy was a character on Newsies. Okay. You know what's even worse than those hats? What? Those hats backwards. Yeah. Yeah. So bad. Janalis is like, I'm 50. And I'm like, oh, so? What are you, in a SNL sketch? All right, so that was, uh, you gave that two points? Who, me? No, yeah. I don't want to give it any points. And ever yeah. since everybody told me the story of the director. Uh, so that chat gave it one point. That's the, the only point it's gotten. Way stork away. Thanks for submitting that one. If You can wear a beanie backwards grim world to where people do notice. If it's one of those, like, heavier top beanies so that you have the flap going you have it flapping forward instead <laughs> of backward that's how you wear a beanie backward uh oh Boondock Saints was an amazing movie oh when I was 14 but what if I am a 14 year old boy guys advise me then cause I kind of am alright guys time is it? At Seattle's most prestigious elementary school, children are given the guidance they need. Deep breath in, deep breath out. To become good citizens of the world. Fortunately, this academy just hired the perfect teacher. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren is Kindergarten Cop 2. This machine owes me Twix bar. Hey! Oh! He's an undercover <laughs> FBI agent looking for stolen data. How close are you to making a breakthrough? They're definitely warming up to me. And one of these kids holds the key. They are totally useless for reliable information. To uncover the truth, he'll have to use every trick in the book. They can smell fear. They're six. I have two mommies and they tell me I shouldn't trust boys. Next! From Universal what? Pictures. The children. I can handle this. Dude, you're dreaming. Hey, go to the Comes an all new movie. Things can spiral out of control <laughs> very quickly. They're little monsters. <laughs> Mr. Lee gave us chocolate. This is funny. Starring Dolph Lundgren. All right, everybody. Let's sit down. Indian style. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Bill Bellamy. You don't say Indian whoa, style. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear See what to God. Deal with? Is that the I other kindergarten the teacher? Shower she is fine. Yesterday, the school and I forgot to ask you. Babe, what happened to Bill Bellamy? I was gonna ask you, and I forgot to ask you. Kindergarten cop too. That's how <laughs> Zach Reed, really kindergarten weird teacher. I was, I was like, what happened to Bill Bellamy? Owned on Blu-ray, DVD, you, and digital HD. Wow. Uh. <laughs> All right, that is the sequel to the uh, uh, to the Ivan Reitman, Arnold Schwarzenegger classic, Kindergarten Cop. The second one looks better. <laughs> it is funny that he is like an undercover cop at, at a school, and he he can't get his something out of the the vending machine, so he takes his gun out. No, he goes, it's not something out of the vending machine. I understand. That thing owed him a Twix. <laughs> Any other candy bar would have been, like, unreasonable. But Twix, that's understandable. I'd flip, too. But you're not good at being undercover if you're just taking your gun out all the time. Lots of people have guns. It depends on <laughs> where it is. Could be an open carry state. I every, guess you're every, right. Every teacher could have a gun at that school. 
I guess you're right. The only thing that beats a bad guy with a gun is... Is a, a good teacher with a cop. <laughs> <laughs> a good kindergarten cop. Yeah. Yeah. All Guys, right. this is how we're going to stop these things. We need kindergarten cops. All right, wait. I have to put the poll up. Forgot to put the poll up. Ooh, people are saying two because fuck the police. A cab, a cab, a cab. I'd like cops if they didn't hate me. But they do. Uh. What the fuck is a kindergarten? Kindergarten? Yeah, like what is that word? It's German. For what? Kinder means child. And. Does garten mean garden? I think so. Child garden. Yeah, grow them, grow them. That's weird. <laughs> See, this is why we should learn to speak German. Sam and I got in an argument that was so bad the other day. I'm kidding. It wasn't even actually bad. But we disagreed on which language we should learn so that we can teach it to the baby. And I was like, German, it'll be the easiest. They're, you know, they're both Germanic languages, English and German, easy peasy. And Sam was like, no, French. And I was like, oh, it's so hard. What do you guys think? That hard. Can we put a poll up for that? Guys, should we learn German and teach Wally German or should we learn French and teach Wally French? Neither of you thought Spanish. Look, no, no, well, it's Baco, just we, Spanish also. We talked about it, but that would also be hard. I, I'm fine with doing French or Spanish. That's what I was And thinking. I'm fine with doing German or German. So let's just see eye to eye and pick German. I just think it'd be easier. And I'm lazy. Oh, Spanish would be definitely the most useful. Good doy, principal, I know. Um, French, Spanish is just French with spices. Ooh, flirty, Lovaca. Learn Japanese or Korean. You know what? Those are good points. I told Sam we should... Deja says German is tough. No, it's not. Listen to the, listen to me. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Look, got it down. All I need uh, to do is ask other Germans if they know how to speak German. Parlez-vous français? Parlez-vous français? There you go. It's the same, same thing. Oui. It's oh, just, oui. it's hard. ASL? Oh my god, what if we touched a baby Klingon, Resident Steevil? <laughs> that is hilarious and smart. Because it's a language that's often used in business. <laughs> Please, Klingon. Yes, seek consistent spelling and pronunciation rules. French is advantageous because it grows up and looks at this place and says fuck this extra bonus points if they want to bolt to Canadian to Canadian to Canada I guess these are all true things guys literally just speak German to your kid they figure it out the same way they figure out how to speak English yeah I will speak German to my kid went to Germany and there was a lot that only spoke German it was rough See, and in France, everyone speaks English. Unless you go, like, real far out. But even then, it's like, oh, that's Basque country. They don't even speak French. Elvish is a cute language. Agreed, Niamix. That's a good one. We live in California. Spanish makes sense. If you live anywhere in America, Spanish Computer makes languages. Sense. Yeah, what do we, should we learn, like... Yeah, we, and I go, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, <laughs> zero. Like that. Learn coding. Teach him coding. Teach him code. What about Morse code? And we just go. All right. So Hi. that got one point from chat. Uh, Emily. What was it again? Kindergarten cop two. Um, honestly, yeah, I'd watch it. I want to see him shoot that soda machine. So, one point, to mm. two points. It also answered what happened to Bill Bellamy. Yeah, I think that's true. ten point ten points for me. All right, ten points from Emily. I was and in Munich and all the touristy places and family. I'll give it one point. Spoke English. Uh, so. 
It's four points for the theorists. Um, I want to do Klingon. Do you guys know of anybody that, because this is why, because we were talking about how we would take private lessons. Does anybody know who te someone who teaches Klingon private lessons? Uh, What's Klingon sound like? Speak it at me. Um, Worf. Isn't that uh, just the that's name? That's just the name, yeah. Your physics professor speaks Klingon and will give Klingon lessons. You can learn Klingon on Duolingo. That is something they do, Burke. We should do that. It's space German. That's a great, uh, great description. Yeah. All right. So let's let's put on a movie trailer while we are doing this. And let's see. Can I put this on the printer? Sure. I didn't know you got breadsticks. Yeah, I got breadsticks. Ah, the dog is attacking me. He came back for the adventure. He came back for the romance. Oh, no, turn it off. But most of all, he came back for the money. Like you mean you would have helped me without the money? I didn't say that. Deathstalker 2, Where Duel of the Titans. Where's Deathstalker? Somebody looking for me. Stalker! You came back! Popular demand. He has returned to fight for a fallen princess. It's a matter of life and death. You gotta help me. So begins a long and perilous journey. Many dangers, witches, dragons. Let's cut down on the tourist trade. He will be pursued by bounty hunters and assassins. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning to catch the Prince of Thieves. He will do battle with mercenaries. <laughs> Amazon. An evil sorcerer. And a wanton princess. Uh -oh. I could just eat you alive. Bones and everything. That lady took a tiny nibble At off the cutting the edge of danger. <laughs> At the brink of civilization. Hey! He will meet the, the challenge. The budget for this movie was off the chain. And at the warlord's fall, he will become chain? king. Yeah. Bringing it back. Death Stalker 2, <laughs> Duel of the Titans. Death Stalker? Uh huh. Is that your first name or your last name? <laughs> <laughs> this movie's good. That was a cool trailer. That was a good one. Um. Mm. Doggy, you can't reach your buddy. I know. I know. A Resident Evil saying TOS, but I don't know. I, I I didn't catch it. Oh no, you didn't see what I was doing with this breadstick. <laughs> oh. You saw her nipple. Oh. Mm -mm. That's fine. No, the pizza guys. There's a guy standing right there. It's a nice dog. Why don't we hear about Sam's dog? Why are you shutting us out, Sam? I talk about my dog all the time. I talk about her name's Flicka. She's great. She's a nice dog. She's really nice, but also can be kind of a butt. She sometimes she like when she wants something she'll like hit me in the back of the leg mm -hmm. and just like nudge me and be like yeah. ah, ah. she'll use her nose to nudge you and then if she really wants something she'll run between your legs and practically kill you by tripping you. Flicka gets along with the baby, yes. She's right next to him right now. They're buddies. Yeah, they kind of looked at each other this morning. I. I, I I had them hanging out, and uh, 
the baby like actually like petted Flicka. And Flicka was, and it, it got a little like bad because the baby started pulling on Flicka's hair a little, and Flicka was calm and did not do anything. All right, so that got two points from or, th- or three points from chat. Who would win in a fight, the dog? And how dare you bring that up? We've established that babies, you can't get them to fight stuff. All right, so that's uh, three points from chat. What do you give Death, Death, <laughs> Death Stalker to? It's okay, Doctor Wink. What do you give it? Oh, two. I give it two also. So that's a seven point trailer going. Seven points going to Lobaka. All right. I was so hungry and I'm eating like I'm not in front of anybody. <laughs> like, you know how you eat different at home than you do when, like, you're out with people? No, I always eat insanely. I always just wolf down food. Probably the most. You don't know what, what you do to me. Ah, what kiss myself? The God, and I got the feeling. Carlotta. Hey. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. What is the it's been seven long years. Look, I got 48 hours to bring this guy in. Oh, I'm history. You want me to go out with you for another 48 hours? Now look, Reggie. This time it's I promise you, it's gonna be different. But Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte are back. Let me tell you something. I ain't working for you. I don't like you and I don't trust you. <laughs> Welcome back, Red. And they're making up for lost time. You got the same car, the same clothes. That's the way I like it. I get attached to things, Reggie. Another 48 hours. Oh, you're in trouble with the law this time. Good. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Nick Nolte. I'm driving. I was one of the chauffeur, Reggie. Another 48 hours. Roxanne! You don't have to put on a red light. This is in the first one. That's oh. great. Um... Okay. Dang, this pizza's hot. Ouch, I'm burning myself, it's so hot. McNulty sounds like Tom Waits sat on Bob Dylan. <laughs> Who said that? Grimward said that. That's very funny. Um, all right. Okay, all right, remember voting in the chat. Uh, we're starting to pull now. Just hit one for yes, two for no. What did you think, Ben? It's okay. Yeah, I'm like a what else, you know? I, I, I think that Chicago blues kind of thing from like the 80s was really funny. How like everything had that kind of like... Boys are back in town. Yeah, I love the song. Um, it's like a um reminds me of like the score to like um Midnight Run. What's Midnight Run? This is Charles Grodin and Robert De Niro movie. What? You never saw that? No. Wait, it's I pretty good. Have. What's it about? Uh, Charles Grodin is Robert De Niro is a um, a bounty hunter and he has to bring Charles Grodin in and so then they have to like go cross country and wait like that one movie it's like trains planes and automobiles but it's like with a bounty hunter it's not. Trace Place and Omnibus wasn't about a bounty? No, no. Oh. 
All right, so Chat gave that one one point. Um, what do you give that? I gave it one point. Mm-hmm. Nothing really stood out to me other than the song. So you give it none. None points. All right, so Beach That Makes You Old gets two points for another 48 hours. Um. Is there any of these that you want to do? What's um forty? We watched that one. Mm. Mm. What's fifty two? D two. Go down. Fifty two. Go over. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Wait, well, actually, though. I think we actually watched one of their tra- oh, okay. trailers. Just the, yeah, whatever you want. Sorry. Wait, let me just double check. What the heck was that? Oh, shit. Coyote. Oh. Probably getting a dog. Hmm. Sounded really bad. All right, wait, I don't think... I thought we already did this person's trailer, but... You know, double-checking, don't see it in there, so uh, we'll throw this in there. Um. I've been getting paid... A- Ooh, Red Band. Red Band trailer. My fellow citizens of this great country of ours, the United Corporations of America. Now this is all about freedom. The freedom to sit on your big fat ass all day and watch the single greatest sporting event of the man. Welcome. To the death race. Ready for one last dance. We are moments away from the starting gun. Our bracers are scored on total time and combined pedestrian fatalities. With 10 points for an adult, double that for a child, and a whopping 50 points for the senior set. This year, cutting-edge technology from UCA puts you, the whole viewer, in the passenger seat in stunning virtual reality. They cut my feet. What about (laughs) Frankenstein? I think Frankenstein will be extinct tomorrow. Are you ready? Let's score these fuckers. Hold on. Uh, laugh, laugh, yeah. <laughs> See? See how I'm doing it? I say those points get split right down the middle. What is wrong with that? Oh, by the way, just for the record, my hair. So, there's something interesting here. This is a sequel. Death Race 2050. To the the movie Death Race 
Roger Corman is 96. And this movie was made in 2017. So he made he made this movie when he was 91. All right, and and so this movie this is a sequel. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure they did a remake of Death Race 2000, but this looks like. Well, yeah, he produced it when he was 91. True, true. Uh, so this would this looked like it was a. Um, a sequel to the first Death Race, though. Like, not not the Statham one. Like, this looks like it was a, a, a sequel to the... Original. Original with um, Stallone and... Um, what was it? Uh, Robert Carradine, right? Altman. I'm uh, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm making up lies. Yeah, it was a standalone. Yeah, ter- David Carradine. De- David Carradine. Sorry. Uh, um, it is a direct oh. sequel to the David Carradine one. Yeah, that David Carradine Hi. one Hi. has one of my favorite move lines in a movie, which is um, David Carradine turns to his as the the character of <gasps> Frankenstein turns to his co-pilot <gasps> and says. You think you're hot stuff, but you ain't nothing but a baked potato. What? <laughs> idiots. What a good line. Oh, people are such idiots. That's so stupid. Why is it stupid? A baked potato. P- potatoes are hot. Baked potatoes. Have you ever seen the game Hot Potato? It's literally soup. They're so hot. Have you ever pulled a baked potato out of the oven with no gloves on? It's a scorcher. Uh, I'm just saying that like it, it's you're, you're you're hot stuff, but you're just a baked potato. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know. That's why it's baked fun. Baked potatoes are hot stuff. It's why it's fun. You think you're hot stuff, but you're hot stuff. Yeah, you think you're hot stuff, but the only hot thing you are is like a it's hot, hot piece stuff. of food. It's super hot food. Yeah. The hottest food. Yeah, so that ain't I shit. Think the only thing that gets hotter than a baked potato is ramen noodles. But you're unimpressive hot stuff. You think you're hot stuff? Like instant But you're ramen. like, you know, like... Un- yeah, but if somebody said, you think you're hot stuff, but you're baked potato, I wouldn't go, well, I'm pretty freaking hot then, aren't I? Yeah, you're hot, but you're a hot piece of shit. Well, that's, if he said that, it'd make more sense. You think you're hot stuff, but you're just a steaming turd. That's a better line. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what what do you give it? Uh, oh no, that's not for me. Okay, so that's, that's a, rated in as in not for me, and so it gets n- nilch. Uh, and so that is a for you. That's a, how many points? Zero. A zero. All right, that is uh, two from chat, and I'm going to give it a point. So that's three from me. You're just trying the... to be like chat. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm really not. So that goes to Silent Alley. You think you're hot stuff, but you're just a volcano. Uh. You think you're hot stuff, but you're just a car engine after it's been driving for 500 miles. Oh, we did do a silent. Oh, it, was, it was right there. Hi, baby. Um... Okay. Have you been sleeping in here? Yeah. What are you doing sleeping in your office? This is when you, whenever you, you kick me out. This is where I sleep. Oh, whenever I'm like, get off the top bunk, I'm mad at you. <laughs> I want to convince everyone that we sleep in bunk beds. Alright, so. So we can go, technically we sleep in the same bed. Um. What should we do? Uh, two more? What time is it? It's 8.22. See, look how fast this show goes when I'm in it. Um, two more. Um. You, you pick out one. Well, I know one that I definitely like. So, I don't know if I should pick that. Mm-hmm. 
Go, uh, well, there's... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, number 49. But I feel like... Uh, okay. I haven't we seen that trailer on here, though? I don't... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, it matters to me. I, I, Guys, I'm the no double show. We'll never show the same trailer twice. Hi. It sounded like you just said lie. Live from New York. I'm a baby. More than three decades. Okay. All right, Lionsgate. Okay. okay. Bonnie Ross. You made the deal. I could have put you in the deepest, darkest hole. But I kept you out. Because I knew that one day would come when you this were going to pay me back. Like, oh, cool. Today's a Bruce day. Willis is doing it. We're not gonna vote on that. We're gonna we're gonna pick another trailer. <laughs> oh, it doesn't count with the two. Um, it's funny. It's funny. It was very funny. That was great. I vote ten points for me. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> All right. <gasps> this one. In. Let's see how this one. What if it's just that same thing again? Don't buy another pair of. Don't buy another pair of glasses. Like these ones. Joined Army 6 June 69. Accepted Special Forces. <laughs> Helicopter and language qualified. <laughs> Expert in light weapons and guerrilla warfare. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is back as Rambo. Rambo's the best combat vet I've ever seen. His mission, to locate American POWs in Vietnam. Think you'll find someone? POWs? No. That's a guy in the band. His orders not to engage the enemy. He's got 36 hours to complete the mission and reach the extraction point. We're going down! You're not going anywhere. I'm telling you to abort. Double-crossed and left behind enemy lines. You're the one who's making a mistake. Yeah, what mistake? Rambo. And now, he's getting out any way he can. Rambo. What most people call hell. 
he called home. <laughs> Stop him. Sylvester Stallone is back. Like how he has he wears a choke. As Rambo. First Blood Part 2. <laughs> okay. Alright, and that was the uh, do you know what that's the sequel to? Mm, I don't know. Movie about periods. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, First Blood. The first Rambo movie is called First Blood. Uh, Rambo. I think that's the first time I've ever heard you go, good one. <laughs> like, so rude, you know? Like, shut up, idiot. Good one. So annoyed. Uh, you looking at daddy? Where's daddy? Stop kicking off your blankie! What? <sighs> okay. <gasps> Rambo, first blood part two! <gasps> um, I thought that was a sick trailer. Boo. That was like, I, I, that was actually like. I think one of the better sequel trailers that we've seen in that like it like a lot of for all these sequels there weren't that many that like used the fact that it was a sequel as like a twist to it like don't shoot our son this is what I do I do this in it that, 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 that. And then I do this. Wally, what's this? Uh oh. Um. There's something that makes this up to eighth blood. <laughs> Where he's losing a pint of blood every film. I like that, yeah. Uh, what? Hi, hi. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to give this. I'm giving this a two points myself. Two. Uh, Emily's giving it two points, and chat is giving it three points. That's a seven-point trailer. That's a classic, a good old classic trailer. Um, First Blood Part 2. Um, Rambo 2, Pogues Mahone, that, that's, to Pogues Mahone, you get a seven-pointer right there. All right, uh, do you want to pick the last trailer of the night, Emily? Yeah, I do. Go up to the top. Go up higher. We haven't been up in the top a lot. We'll see what the cursor's on. I mean, no. this is a person who's just going to do this already. Okay, go. Oh, so it's, uh, what about? <laughs> you found one? No, no, no. Just oh, yeah, the, I, the saw the, I, know, I saw the description. I know, I saw. All right, we'll have to watch that while we're, we're voting for the trailer of the week. Um, I think, what about, oh, we already did one of theirs? Yeah, see, that's the thing is we did a lot of these. People. We yeah. haven't done this one. Uh, what about? Oh, we already did a bunch of that. I don't think we've done any of these. What about forty-five? Wait, wait. What about forty-six? Okay. Oh, look, 45, they put the wrong trailer in. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh, alright. Stop well, kicking this blanket off. 
Last trailer of the evening. And hey, stop kicking that blanket off. Uh, excuse me, your son is being bad. Good. Punish him. Good job. No, don't thumbs up him. No, he gets thumbs up. He's cool. He's a bad boy. Batten to the bone. Boom, 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 boom. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I ate that pizza and now I'm like, good night. Boom, 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 boom. I ate that pizza. Yeah, on the day he was born. Boom, 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 boom. What do you see? Whoa, 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 whoa. I see you. 
I am not writing the whole title of this. Oh, crap. What? <laughs> put, put two or yes? Yeah, buddy, get him. Alright, wait, we were gonna do this. Uh, what if we didn't actually have a baby and we just always were like, yeah, he's wrapped up, but it was just like a large doll? Dude, that'd be a good movie. And we're like, we love him. Okay. There we go. Um, one's for yes, two's for no's. One's for yes, two's for no's. One arm swordsman, a part two. Um, what do you what do you say? What do you say? I'm just a one, but I would watch it. Uh, it was a one. I was into it. Uh, you know, I froze it during part of it. I'm sorry, but I feel like it was so long that. It didn't affect it. It was it was too long. So I'm gonna give it one point. Yeah, I'm gonna do a remake of Psycho, that instead of a guy at a hotel, it's a girl at a hotel, and instead of the mother being dead, it's there's no baby. Wait, and so Bad Daddy one two three says uh, they did. There was a lady that did that at one of their AA meetings. Did what? Brought a fake baby? People do that know, stuff all the time. Lied about having a baby. People do that stuff all the time. <gasps> and it's just me behind this blanket going... Kisses? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> 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 okay. Thank uh, you. What did you think about the trailer? You gave it a one? Yeah, me? Yeah, right, so chat, that. Chat's giving it. Uh, yeah. Let's see, that's 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 no points from chat. I'm going to give it one point. I would have given it two points, but it was too long. Uh, and that is three points going to Belzo33. Slobby Bobby. Okay. All right, all right. Slobby so here we go. Bobby. We're going to do trailer of the week. We got Robocop 2, Deathstalker 2, Rambo 2, and then the sixes. Yeah, I know, but. For a few dollars more. So funny! Sterminator 2. Oh, there's too many sixes. So, Robocop 2, uh, Deathstalker 2, Rambo 2. Uh, I mean, wait, how many sixes are there? Mm -hmm. FX2, China oh, O'Brien 2, Exterminator 2, oh. for a few dollars more. All right, yeah, we'll do the sixes too. All right, let me give me give me a second to set this up. Uh, trailer. Um. Week. Uh, let's see. Nah. You want that just done? Ah, okay, don't get mad. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Does that tickle? What are you looking at? Okay, oh, hey, wait. What am I missing? Robocop 2. FX 2. Oh, China and Brian 2. Strawberry 2. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm. Aren't you tired of those Zerberts? No. <gasps> Oh crap. Oh, I left a couple off, but that that's just gonna have to be it. That's gonna have to be the poll. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
One for Rambo 2, two for Robocop 2, three for Deathstalker 2, four for FX 2, five for for a few dollars more. Oh, what's wrong, my bud? Oh, you're hungry. Oh, okay. Can you raise up the camera? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna feed I know, I'm gonna feed you, my buddy. It's okay, I know. I know. Hey. Shh. Hey, sweetums, sweetums, sweetums. I vote for trailer for the week. Um, Here you go. Here you go. Let's do westerns next week. I don't think we've done westerns before. Really? You had to have at some point. Really? I don't think so. What about... Hotel motel movies. <laughs> what about movies with a food fight in them? I feel like we have some movies <laughs> with a food fight in them. Uh, do you like it when sometimes yeah. I'm like, here's my, here's the dumbest thing I can come up with, and then you go, we've done that. Um, Uni- that's most weeks. Unicorn movies? Uh, yeah, westerns and neo-westerns, I like that. Plus unicorns, if you find a unicorn movie, that also counts. You okay? You okay? Westerns, neo westerns, sci fi westerns, everything westerns. You know, and unicorns. Uh, right? Alright, uh, and so they. No it looks like for a few dollars more is our winner this week. Great title. Fine trailer. Westerns. Um, RoboCop Two was the superior trailer in my, I in my opinion. Rambo Two was also a really good trailer. Not as was, good as I RoboCop was, Two. It starts was, with punching through the wall. I was a little upset at RoboCop Two because there's this whole subplot in RoboCop Two where there's this drug called Nuke, and we didn't have any Nuke, and there's all this like there's also like a ten year old gangster who's a big part of it, and we didn't have him in it. I want to watch that movie now. It's cool. I'd watch it. Uh, My highlighter got all over the baby's face. Look how glittery, glittery your son looks. Uh, if you streamed this in YouTube, I'd have zero ads with premium. No, I will not sub to your tw- Twitch. We we did we did. The thing with this is that. Uh, Wait, oh the the YouTube the YouTube ads start when you have when you're on like premium YouTube, but then they like stop immediately. So, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. It um, would be really wild to try to change platforms at this point. If you st- oh stream this in YouTube, you'd have zero ads with premium. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, like that. That if we weren't on Twitch, you would. St- yeah, like that. that's what I was saying. Is like, but it's too much. You can't switch no, I, to I, YouTube I, I, at this point. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought he was saying something. Else. You guys, it's you guys. It's too late for that. Double There's, stream, but then if we double stream, we split the audience. Yeah, then you split the audience. And we split, split the, the votes. Vote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then also, then, that goes against the Twitch contract, Uh, which they have with David Twitch. Yeah. Um, And, yeah, I mean, here we're we're, we're supporting Jeff Bezos, so that's cool. I love that. That's beautiful. And if we were on YouTube, we'd be supporting Google. And if, yeah, and if you're on YouTube, then you're supporting YouTube. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Have you ever done anything for YouTube? Sort of. I mean... I have. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I spent the whole time... They have a photo booth at their studios. And so oh, I've been to their studios. I spent yeah. the whole day in the photo booth not doing any work and kept getting in trouble. Um, yeah. They, at the YouTube studio, happened. they have a fire pole. Yeah, they do. And uh, I went one time. One Direction came while I was there. 
they were shooting a music video or something on the soundstage next to where I was working. <laughs> but I didn't know who they were at the time, so I didn't care. But now I would be like, oh my god, Harry Styles. But then he was like 18. The perfect age. <laughs> um. All right, guys, who should we raid? Me. Me. Raid me. Who should we raid? Someone throw we should raid around. Wally's channel. Raid Pizza Hut. Well, are you going to stream? Are you going to stream tonight? Good night, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Guys, it was great to see you guys. Weird Paul is on. Okay. What's the channel? Weird Paul? Have great nights, guys. See you guys soon on Boring on Purpose. I be streaming, babies. And I'm not even joking. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. It was good to see everybody. Especially after so long. Mm. Woo! Thanks for hanging out and putting up with our baby, who is a jerk. Oh my god, I, you guys, deepest, 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 most deepest apologies for how fucking annoying this kid is. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys. Uh, Bye, I love you guys, miss you guys. Bye, Have fun on, on Weird Paul. Do, do, do.